Hey gang, Bill Dragoo here again with Dart. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the Turretech components that are on this bike. I'm going to start with uh, the rear pannier racks. I've used several different versions of Turretech rear pannier racks. These things fit properly, they're welded well, they look good. Uh, they've just been a real versatile rack for me. They also offer protection against the, any uh, damage to the exhaust. You can mount, of course, the Turotec hard panniers, which is, uh, I think, probably a lot would consider should be mounted on them. But we also have our Moscomoto uh, panniers mounted here as well. They fit nicely and they just work. In addition to the protection and the, the um, solid security that they provide for carrying things, uh, like panniers, they also give me some space to carry um, a tire iron, which I use more for scraping out mud than I do for uh, changing tires, it seems. And also, I carry a Tech Sport Shape Shifter bow saw on this side. There's space over here. Turretech makes a real nice uh, toolbox that goes in here as well. So, another thing that we have in Turretech are the uh, engine guards. We've got their lower and their upper engine guards. Some things I really like about the evolution of these engine guards is that they are a four-point mounting system, one, two, three, four points, as opposed to the two or three points uh, that you see more commonly on some of the other uh, engine guards. They're strong enough to provide all the protection that you need, but they still have a little bit of flexibility. In fact, I've already bent one here a little bit. That was a really hard strike on a rock. It's still protected by valve cover. Um, it didn't crush and it didn't transfer all the load into my frame, which can be done in a hard strike on a completely rigid um, engine guard system. And then we have the upper guards here, which protect the radiators, the plastics. Uh, I hit these less frequently, but I do hit them from time to time. So uh, I just believe in the system working together. It's really, really good stuff. Also, Turretech wise, I've got their headlight protector up here. I have two versions of this. One is the grid that you see here, and yes, you do get a little bit of pattern on the road at night from this, but it's not bad. It, uh, you know, you kind of get used to it. I guess your mind erases the, the grid after a while. Pops off quite simply for cleaning of the headlight, yet it still offers the protection that you need, and it stays on, on the uh, bike. I've never had an issue with these coming off at all. The uh, Lexan I have as well. Uh, if you want the clarity of that and you don't, um, you know, you, you're bothered by the grid, then yeah, by all means use the Lexan. Some of the lesser things that I have, but they're still fun little components. I've got the skids up here that are Turretech for the axle protectors. Uh, I don't fall down on the road very much, but I do occasionally bump this into rocks and they work quite well in protecting the lower part of your fork against rock strikes. And then we also have the Turretech guard for the um, wheel speed sensor, which is a nice little component. I don't know how often that can be struck. I suppose it's possible, but it's a nice little farkle to have on your bike too. So uh, we all like the way things look. Here I have the um, side stand switch protector also. I have broken a side stand switch before, and I've never broken one when I had this protector on here, so I think it does its job pretty well. And again, it's just a nice looking uh, um, piece of bike jewelry, I suppose. Moving on towards the back, I have the Turretech Final Drive Protector. This, to me, is an essential component. Uh, a lot of strikes occur right in this area, and best case scenario, it gouges up your final drive, and worst case scenario, it can really tear it up and, and uh, actually punch a hole in it, leaking your fluid out, leaving you uh, walking, I suppose, on the, side of the, or on the side of the trail. And then this is a separate component, the axle uh, bearing protector. This goes all the way through and uh, mounts from the inside. Really nice little, uh, little detail here. Again, it protects an area that is commonly scraped up whenever you fall down on the motorcycle. So those are just a few of the things that uh, we have on this particular bike from Turatech. I have a couple of articles out there, Battle Ready and Battle Tested GS, and you can see sort of the evolution of some of these things and how we've installed them, how we've come to the conclusions that we have. Really, really good stuff. I'll do another video for you. I'll talk about some of the other components on the bike, but Turatech wise, this is, this is fantastic. I am about to leave out the Magura uh, clutch and brake levers, which also are sourced through Turretech. These are also bike jewelry, but they're very functional too. So the fact that this moves up and down really minimizes your risk of breakage. 
and they're the exact replica as far as shape of the uh, original equipment design. Whenever I took my um, took the Maguras out of the box and I put my original ones back in, they slipped right in perfectly. You still have the adjustment that you have for the uh, travel of the lever. All of that works just like it's supposed to. So really nice stuff. Uh, we appreciate Turatech. They've been around for a long time. They do a great job. Their service, uh, just the reliability of their components is what we need. So good stuff. Thanks for watching. I need to add a little postscript to uh, my Turatech uh, discussion here. I totally failed to mention another essential component that I consider is, is just absolutely necessary on this bike, and that is the Turatech side stand foot. Uh, this provides a lot more purchase in sand, soft conditions, and if you've ever uh, struggled or waited for someone struggling when they're trying to, to find a beer can and crunch it and put it under their side stand, this completely eliminates that. And their newer designs of this have really, really gotten good. Yeah, you can bend anything, but you can, you can bend them back. But in general, they stay secure. I, I've been through a lot with this one already. It still looks great. It still works properly. Uh, so just another little tidbit from Turatech that uh, can make your bike better than it was from the factory. Again, thanks for watching.